Welcome to the first art fight. This is going to be a brawl. Let me set some rules before we begin. I've chose two artists from the same era, but they're not going to always be the same era. In this case, it's Hitler, the one ball chump, versus Cheeky Churchill. I wanted to do a quick Rocky scene here where Hitler's face would have been on Apollo Creed's body just because it makes no sense and it's hilarious. The funniness would have been the black skin and the United States trunks, both things we know Hitler loved so deeply. While Mr. Churchill was on holiday at Monte Carlo, he spent a good deal of his time painting. The artists must go head to head against each other in 10 rounds with two bonus rounds at my discretion. They have to win my love in order to get their power bars as close to the top as they possibly can. So that's 12 paintings per artist, 24 in total. It'll be randomized a little bit, but obviously this is edited, so your mam's ass. Having a full bar would indicate you're a 10 out of 10 artist. It's obviously never gonna be that way, is it? So yeah. The 10 rounds will be as followed. Round one, overall impression. What is it? What does it look like? What did they use? Round two, concept. What does all this mean? Am I in a dream? Round three, colors. Is it warm? Is it bright? Is it cool? Is it colorful? What did they use for the colors? Is it dull? And remember, I'm choosing the scores. Round four, composition. Does it look good? Are things placed well? Etc. Round five, point. Visual elements where your eyes are drawn to and where everything else is derived. It's a very important critiquing thing. Round six, technical. What kind of perspective are they using? What went into this piece? Perhaps how long did they take doing it? Other elements that are considered technical. Round seven, harmony. Is it cohesive? Do all of the things add together in the correct kind of way? Or do elements seem a little bit misplaced? Round eight, space. How is space used in the art? Do I have places for my mind to wander or am I trapped in a labyrinth? Both could be good, I don't know yet. Round nine, texture. Is it bumpy? Is it smooth? What kinds of things did they use to create the texture? Did they use a computer? Obviously not in this case, but I bet Hitler wished he did. <laughs> no. And the final legal round is price. Basically, what's the most expensive painting they've sold? <laughs> the other two rounds are secret. You'll have to find out about those later on. Okay, referee's gonna step back and the fight's about to begin. The crowd is clearly going wild. This is a match of the Titans isn't it? My money's on Churchill, basically because I can't let Hitler win because of the things he did. And I don't want to be responsible making a socially isolated cripple go crazy. Right, like every professional boxing match I've ever watched, let's ding the bell and then flip the coin to see who goes first. I hope you get the joke there. Oh, it looks like it's Hitler from the red corner. That's unexpected. Ladies first and whatever. Let's see what he's got for the first round. Overall impression. It's called Schloss New Schwanstein. I know that's the fairy tale Disney castle, but I'm not going to attempt to say the German. It sounds aggressive, doesn't it? And I'm a delicate flower, so let's see. Oh, please excuse me. I'm just eating bread. But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Frankly, I'm surprised and a little bit nervous for Churchill. <laughs> this is quite a good painting. You know what it is, you know where it is. Overall impressions, a pretty good score there for Mr. Hitler. It's a watercolor and that, frankly, blows me away. Ooh, he's a vicious bastard, but he scored highly here. On to Churchill's first entry. We've got a view of Monte Carlo and Monaco. That's good. You know what it is. Overall impressions are good. He's decided to have two nuts and do oil colors. That's much more difficult than watercolors, let me tell you. Although, both paintings side by side, I'm gonna give it to Hitler. <laughs> Round two, concept. Now, I'm not going to flip the coin again. That's it. Hitler's first every time. Oh, dear. We've got the courtyard of the old residency in Munich. Yeah, no people. It strikes me as very strange that a lot of Hitler's paintings have no people in them. What does he want to do? Like, try and kill everybody? Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? And in terms of concept, what does this mean? There's nobody there. It's proficient. I'll give him that. But the lack of soul or anything happening in the picture really disturbs me a little bit. Not very dynamic, is it? It's just, yeah, building and tree, no wind, nothing. Almost looks like a prison doesn't it? And for Churchill's entry, it's called Scene on the River Muse. This was done in 1946. That's the difference of 30 years. Plus, Mr. Hitler's died at this time, hasn't he? Or escaped to Argentina on a submarine, as some people believe. But anyway, I like it. It's beautiful. It's dynamic. It's something Hitler's isn't. And you know the little dude on the bottom left painting it? That's Churchill painting the picture of him painting the picture that's in the picture right now. It's really good. The water's shimmering. It gives a nice upbeat feel, doesn't it? So there you go. Churchill's the winner this round, obviously. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. 
Let's move on to round three, colours. I've picked two drastically different pictures and we'll start once again with Hitler. I like the yellow, especially if I want to buy some butter. This would be a perfect picture on a packet of margarine, wouldn't it? I can't believe it's not Blitzkrieg. Uh, well, anyway. This is Mother Mary and the Holy Child, Jesus Christ. The Aryan born. It's just get out of town. Anyway, we're not talking about anything conceptual here. It's the colours. So I'm going to say it again. I like yellow. But that doesn't mean he's going to win. Let's go straight to Churchill. A large tree by Lake Como, 1940. 45. Very difficult to paint with green, I'll tell you now. I'm gonna give it to Churchill. I've had to think about it for a while, and I love yellow is not enough as a reason to win. I think Hitler's painting in this round just kind of pisses me off. It's not great. The kid's a spoiled brat. I prefer trees, and they are well done. It's like a Bob Ross. Churchill is the great-grandfather of Bob Ross. That's not true, but it's kind of funny. Let's paint several little happy trees. Round four, composition. Let's have a look at Hitler's. Abortion of a watercolour. That's a mistake, isn't it, that? What is it, a burnt out wreck? What a surprise. I'm also shocked that he works for Getty Images. Did he found that? I left the watermark there on purpose because why are they watermarking that? What are people gonna do with this image? Those fascists, I hate anybody who puts watermarks on pictures because nobody's reselling them except Indians. The power bar goes backwards for Mr. Hitler this time. That's pants. Yes, but it's a sketch. Don't defend Hitler, what are you doing? Let's move on to Churchill's, which is called Carcassonne or Carcassonne. God, I'm ignorant. I'm so sorry. This is nice. It's quaint. It's a little castle with some trees. It's great. Churchill's the winner in this round once more. So sorry, Hitler. <laughs> I can't believe I'm apologizing to him, but I did. He needs to commit suicide in a bunker or something. Oh, wait. If words could kill, we should be dead already. Round five, point. Where do my eyes go? Where do my eyes go? Let's look at Hitler's. Oh, my eyes go to a really empty town because everybody's died. Yeah, it's pretty good. It pains me that that's better than what I can do. <sighs> but it just looks like stale bread. Kind of boring and bland. But Churchill's painting is magnificent. My eyes go everywhere. I drink it in. Oh, he gets points for this. I start at the wonderfully red flag and my eyes meander across the painting beautifully. I'm turning myself on. That's a good painting. He's getting points. He's getting points. He wins the round. All of you will be damned. There is no place in heaven for you. <laughs> Round six is technical, and this one scares me a little bit because those Germans are meticulous. And as we've seen before, they're pretty accurate paintings by Mr. A.H. This one, something in Munich, is called Hofbrauhaus. Hmm, no idea, but it looks technically amazing. He's used a one slash two point perspective, and I'm impressed. It's got some incredible depth, and it has some people milling around this time. Oh, Churchill, you let me down. You decided to paint a still life for this technical challenge, and it's kind of boring. But hang on a minute, he didn't even know I was a lie. Nor did they plan to have a painting showdown like this. Comparing the two is like chalk and cheese. Churchill's picture has some quite good shadowing and reflections on the tinny tins. Okay, I'm sorry, it's technically decent because it's oil painting too, but it's just not as good as Hitler's, is it? Oh my god, I said it. I, d I don't know why I said that. I kind of want to say both of these paintings are like old man paintings, but the fight here is all about technical, and to be honest, the Germans do have it. That's it. Round seven, harmony. Hitler goes straight in with a broken fence and terribly painted trees. I don't like this one, you failed. You failed me, Hitler. It's not harmonious at all, is it? Look, it's grotesque. And I'm serious when I say that, the greens are putrid. That's a low scoring round for the Nazi party, but Churchill has come up trumps this time. It is harmonious. I mean, what can go wrong with the ocean? A well chosen piece by my little pork job. He's done really well. I do like the reds and the blues in this, and it makes me feel at ease. It really does. But this I will say, friendly, I. Round eight, space. A lot of Hitler's paintings feel claustrophobic and this one called From Mel's in 1915 is absolutely claustrophobic and destroyed. I want to say I like how the roof has a swash sticker growing, but I don't like that, it's just there. Seems to be. Well, I'm sorry, the round is space and there's no space, so I don't like this one really. It's technically good, but yeah, it's not very spacey, is it? I can't walk around it freely. I'm trapped. I feel trapped looking at it like I'm stuck in one of those tiny rooms. But Churchill comes up trumps again. <laughs> Maybe I picked these out. It's not so random after all, is it? It's kind of random. Maybe I have a random generator in the future. Nah, no. In terms of space, I'm everywhere here. I'm in the sea. I'm on the pier. I'm hanging around. I'm in the harbour. I'm enjoying myself. It's free. He painted this freely, didn't he? It's not so precise. And that's good. Churchill. That is not a painting, it's a humiliation! 
Round nine, straight off the bat with Hitler. I like the texture in this. I like the graininess. I kind of wish somebody else did this painting because it's pretty good, to be honest. All of his paintings are decent, aren't they, really? It's a bit shocking. It's certainly proficient. I quite like the use of colours in it, too. I'm so sorry, humanity. The painting by Churchill, picked at random, is Tapestries at Blenheim Palace. And I quite like the textures in this, I do. I think Hitler's pipped him at the post again just because it's grainy, and I like grainy. Sorry about that, I just love Red Alert. So let's move on to round 10. Now there's nothing I can say here to critique this, this is just matter of fact. Hitler's paintings have sold in many price ranges, down from £40,000 all the way up to £400,000 for a collection of 14 watercolours at auction in dollars, not pounds. It doesn't make any difference, the pound is the dollar at the minute. $400,000, that's a really high price. But it isn't as high as Churchill's, is it? Oh no. Churchill wins this round by selling a single painting to Angelina Jolie's estate for $11 million. Damn. That's not a lie or a joke or anything weird. That's actually the price of this one painting. He wins the round. He gets more juice for his power bar and wins the day. It's the only way it could be. Without a doubt. We have two bonus rounds coming up after a short break. For just £2 a month, you can coax a disabled strange fat lad to come out of the basement and have a Burger King once in a while. No, wait, who am I kidding? This is Rubber Johnny by Aphex Twin. Now let's get back to the action. Round 11 is impact on society. Hitler's painting here seems very stale and boring once again. Technically accurate, but we can all do things with pins and needles and use string to take the soul away from the art. It's not very good. When you did art class at school, did your art teacher say don't use rulers? Hitler probably just just thought, yeah, well, I'm the king of Germany, so I'll do what I want. It's a technical construction. They're all technical constructions. How does this impact society? It shows inside the mind of a mental patient, whereas Churchill's shows a scene of a Miami beach resort. This shows a picture of Miami Surf Club. That's right, Churchill loved the US. And what better impact on society you could have than visiting the Liberators, yes? Bonus round 12 is Final Thought. Hitler's paintings are plain, boring, sluggish, soulless, but they're technically decent. I'm surprised. When I went into this project, I thought, oh, Hitler's artwork's just gonna be crap, but some of them shocked me. This one at the end's not very good, is it really? It's like toilet paper, but Churchill's is quite nice, isn't it? The study, the library, an excellent painting. What a lad. It's warm like a little corner of the house. I really like this guy's stuff. And thus we conclude the first art fight. I hope you've liked the video. Please subscribe if you want to and leave me a like. I'd love you. If you want to leave a comment, please do. I'll try and respond as quick as possible. Just a quick final thought about the rating. I gave Hitler a 68% out of 100, which seems to be a little bit too high if you ask me. I'd be interested to know what you thought about his paintings. Most of the stuff he did, he finished before the outbreak of World War II. After that, he sort of didn't bother, did he, because drugs and terrible politics. Obviously, I hate the guy and what he stood for, but this is the video. It was an art fight. Also, please remember, you can't really rate art. It's subjective. The percentages in the star system is just a comedy prop. And honestly, yeah, I did quite like Churchill stuff. 7.9 is a pretty good score. I'll see you in the next video, you lickers of lobsters.